So, hi guys. Um, obviously, I'm Mozan, and I'm going to be talking to you guys about the feature matrix. So, some tidbits on what we do in sales. We're more than, obviously, just a sales team. We talk to people who are coming in and help them with everything that they need. But more than that, we do a lot of other things. Like, for example, we work on the feature matrix. And the goal of, of the feature matrix is to try and give people a bigger picture of what's going on in the office landscape so that they can make an informed decision. And it's also to try and see what people care about when it comes to features and stuff. So obviously, being perfect here is like playing Tetris with a Rubik's Cube. If you're wondering how to play Tetris with a Rubik's Cube, it's, well, I'm trying to figure that out myself. Uh, <laughs> obviously, the goal here is to present a comprehensive overview and help them out. So we try to get a fair representation of all the office suites involved, right? And figure out what they do care about. So there are a lot of features in in your average office suites, right? And we have more than 205 in our current comparison. So a lot of things that people do care about here and a lot of things that people care less about. So office suites also move very quickly and things change very often. And sometimes they do change silently. So staying up to date and giving people a complete 100% perfect picture of what's going on in the office suite is quite difficult. But we try to be as accurate as possible here. And of course, having multiple office suites to track only compounds everything and makes the options a lot more harder to track. And there are also extra non-editor features that people might care about, like Zotero and Language Tool that do integrate into a tool that can be something that a user would like to know more about. So. In terms of what constitutes a feature, there's a lot of decisions that you can make. So uh, you can go with how granular a feature is and include a lot of things there. So for example, for text formatting options for characters, um, there's a lot of things that you can consider when it comes to splitting up things. So you can either go by what people would consider a full feature or follow a heuristic to try to present something as a bigger picture, right? So obviously for character kerning, you can figure out character width, you can split that out, you can go over shadows and, and the weight of the font, and there's a lot of other things that you can look at. So we try to balance between giving people too much information and presenting something that concise that they can quickly look at and make a decision based on that. So there are, of course, also other things that we do consider. Um, for office suites, regressions happen. There's a lot of features going on. There's a lot of work that happens. And we're aware of when that happens for other office suites. So we do not include that. And we also try, since we're trying to give a fair picture, we do include things that we are missing. And to help them paint a bigger picture, better picture of what's going on. And of course, the last thing that I do want to mention is that if anyone does have any feature that they look at and that isn't in our comparison that they do care about, um, please do poke me and let me know if if we can add it there so that, you know, the best place to get information from here would be the power users and everyone here in this conference. So, yeah, thank you.